Closing market comments for Friday, October the 30th. Grains closed mixed today with corn and soybeans higher, wheat closing lower on the day. All the grains opened lower last night. So all of them were able to rally and make uh, a nice little push higher before selling off in the wheat. Corn closed unchanged on the nearby, but as I said, up in the deferred months. We did see large deliveries of soybeans last night. 300 contracts of soybeans put out by Kafko in Chicago. That pushed the spreads today because of the deliveries. That would be a million and a half bushels that were delivered with no major stoppers coming in to stop those. We saw a situation today where barge freight jumped from 350% to 700% on the Mississippi River. That also put pressure on the spreads as the spreads widened in corn and soybeans from where they were. Uh, we'll see where this goes as we go forward. It could be harvest pressure. It could be uh, just a lack of barges. There is a uh, ridge that's out down in Louisiana that's causing some issues as well. So once that issue gets resolved, that could fix it. But for right now, we did see uh, barge freight quite a bit stronger and, and widening of the spreads because of that. Otherwise, in news, South Korea bought 420,000 metric tons of corn from optional sources. Uh, could be the U.S., could be other countries. Brazil imported 400,000 metric tons of rice, and they did confirm that they have purchased 528,000 metric tons of soybeans from the U.S. So, uh, unusual for Brazil to be buying beans from us. They oversold, and now they're running short until they get new crop. Argentina wheat crop is put at 16.8 million metric tons. That's down from the original estimate of 21, but similar to where it's been in recent times. Dry weather looks very likely over the most of the Midwest for the next 10 days, which should help harvest progress move forward. And uh, the extended forecast 11 to 15 is showing some moisture coming in. Russia, Ukraine both looking for moisture. Brazil and Argentina looking for moisture. So. We'll have to see how much rainfall hits over the area over the coming few days. China did announce this morning that they had bought one boat of ethanol and were looking to possibly purchase more. So that could be a good possibility for the corn market if it comes to fruition. Uh, the other thing, uh, we did sell 121,500 metric tons of soybeans to unknown. Uh, could be China, could be Brazil, as we know from the purchases that they made. So we'll have to see. We will have extended hours for harvest this weekend. Give us a call if you need anything. Thanks for watching.